Okay, so this is a guitar I've actually had on loan for like two years. And uh, I've never made a video about it. And I figured I would change that today. So this is from a company called Illuminati and it's called the Orion. Now, as you can probably tell right off the bat, the biggest feature or the most unique feature of this guitar is the aluminum neck. Uh, but it goes a little bit deeper than that. The body is not made of wood or anything like wood. It's actually made of, I think, lucite. So, uh, and you can see it's got this really cool CNC'd sort of texture here. And uh, it's got Lawler Imperials in it, a uh, unique graph tech bridge. And uh, I figured before I send it back to Illuminati, I would uh, kind of put it through its paces and see how it compares to something a little bit more traditional like my R9 here. Now this is not gonna be a super scientific like head to head by any stretch of the imagination, but I am curious to see how these two guitars stack up to each other where kind of the only thing they have in common with one another is the type of pickup. But I figured it would just be cool. This video is not sponsored by Illuminati or anyone for that matter. I've had this guitar on loan. I will be sending it back. Uh, I just thought it'd be cool to check out and compare. Now the idea of a aluminum neck guitar is actually not that new. Companies have been doing this since I think the 1970s, could be wrong on that. Um, but Illuminati's kind of taking a more modern approach to it with the shape and the lucite body. You know, it's it's not a guitar for your, your traditional blues dad or blues lawyer type player, you know? Yeah, we're gonna play some blues licks on this today for sure. Locking tuners. I also like the fact that the back of the headstock is hollowed out. Um, and Apparently the neck itself is hollow as well. It looks like a solid chunk of aluminum because the fretboard is aluminum, but supposedly the neck itself is hollow. And I believe that's primarily to save weight on the guitar to make it less neck heavy. But I also think it probably has something to do with the resonance, although I could be wrong on that. Maybe a solid piece of aluminum would actually be more resonant than a hollow piece of aluminum. It's probably just for weight savings. So I was kind of surprised how heavy it is. It is not light. Like that's the thing, holding it compared to my R9. I'd say my R9 is a little bit lighter. This is a pretty lightweight for a Les Paul. I think it's around eight-ish pounds. I haven't weighed it in a long time. This feels about the same actually. The difference is where the weight sits. On a Les Paul or a more traditional style guitar, the weight sits in the body. So when you've got it, you know, on a strap around your shoulder here, it naturally balances. Nice and easy because the weight's here. With the Illuminati, with the Orion, the weight is all in the neck and the body itself is actually pretty lightweight. So actually, let me put a strap. Yeah, it's definitely more like you can feel the weight is right here on this side of the strap, which to be honest with you is not my favorite thing. Um, I've had neck problems and back problems before from you know, being in long rehearsals for multiple days at a time, standing up on like hard surfaces with a guitar on my shoulder, like the back of my neck would really, really start to hurt. That would not do very well for me over long gig. But um, let's plug it up and see how it sounds. I'm running my uh, Two Rock Classic Reverb Signature over here. We've got it on half power mode, so we're only running 50 watts. It's still loud as hell. Uh, and then we're miking it up with the uh, MD421 and a really cool Austrian audio mic. I'll put the model name right here. Uh, I've been using that Austrian audio on guitar a lot recently and I really dig it, so.
something like this i mean i think it's mainly the aesthetic it's the fact that it's something different than your traditional guitar this appeals to a very different type of player than i am i think it's really cool uh, but it's appealing to someone who wants something that's left of center that's a little bit different and it is a unique feel like there's something interesting about playing a metal neck guitar if you've never done it the it does affect how you play. It changes how you play. Now, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, that's totally subjective. That's up to you. For me, there's a couple of things that are sort of tough to get used to with this guitar. One is the neck weight. It's really, really heavy. It neck dives a lot. I don't really love that. Two is like the way the aluminum feels in my hand. It's cold, like especially being down here in this basement, like playing this guitar, it feels harsh and cold and metallic because it is harsh and cold and metallic and also uh the more you play it as the oils on the build up on the back of the neck it's really like kind of sticky it's um it's like having a lacquered finish uh, or a polyurethane finish on the back of your neck that sort of like sticky feeling as your hands sweat a little bit is not my favorite thing in the world the pickups sound good they're lawler imperials you know so they're like a paf style humbucker um the thing I'm noticing though is the sound to me sitting in front of the amp is kind of um I don't want to say it's like metallic cuz that is a little on the nose but Okay, so the best way I can describe this sound sitting in front of the amp here is it sounds like I'm only hearing the pickups. Like the pickups are isolated from the rest of the guitar. Um, I don't want to get into the whole tone wood debate in this video, but I do think there's something about the construction of this guitar and the materials that is lending itself to kind of isolating the pickups rather than hearing more of the guitar itself. I'm sure there's lots of people that are going to disagree with me in the comments here, but that's how it feels sitting in the room. I feel like there's a big impact with the saddles and the nut too. I've never seen a guitar with a metal nut. That was kind of a thing in the early to mid eighties. A lot of people were going to like brass nuts, but at that time people were doing things like brass nuts and brass saddles, you know? Uh, but I do think that that has an impact on the sound. I mean, I've noticed a major impact on my Telecasters. When I swap the saddles on the bridge from steel to brass, there is a pretty big impact on the sound. So it makes sense that the nut would be doing the same thing. So it has like a slightly metallic quality to it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it compared to the Les Paul. It does sound like what you'd think a metal guitar would sound like. Yeah, it does sound like that. And how much of that is like confirmation bias because we're looking at it and yeah. it's very different. So how much of it are, is that we're hearing with our eyes and not our ears? You know, I think that is that is part of it. Close your eyes, man. <laughs> Thank you. 
There's a big difference in the sound to me. Now, how much is, of that is down to the pickups? You know, I'm not sure. How much is it down to the construction and the material of the guitar? I'm not sure. I think it does have an impact. But what I can tell you is the feel of these two guitars could not be more different. And that's not exactly a groundbreaking observation. But I much prefer this. I'm a more traditional guitar player. Many of you know that if you've been watching my channel for a long time. This is very cool. It's it's a unique aesthetic. It's its own thing. If you like this kind of look and you want something a little bit different, something that's gonna look really cool on stage, that's a big factor, especially for a lot of touring pros. Depending on the gig that they're on or the artist they're playing for, you might need something like this because it's part of the aesthetic, it's part of the vibe. I like the shape. It's got kind of the, you know, Ernie Ball, St. Vincent thing going on, which I think is really cool. And I like the fact that it exists. I like the fact that this is out there for the type of player that wants this sort of modern, unique, sort of left of center thing. It's just not for me. It feels like I'm kind of fighting the guitar. I don't like the cold, metallic, heavy nature of it. Uh, I much prefer something like this, but it's completely subjective. That's the beautiful thing about guitar. There's no wrong answer here. I think this sounds better and feels better, but you might disagree. You might like something like this more, and that's totally cool. Overall though, the Illuminati Orion, I think it's a cool guitar. I'll have it linked down below if you wanna check it out, see uh, some of their other guitars on offer. I have no affiliation with Illuminati. I'm not getting paid. I don't make any commission off their sales or anything like that. And as I said, I'm gonna be sending this guitar back to them. I appreciate them uh, loaning it to me for as long as they did. It's cool. It's got a unique sound and uh, I think it'll appeal to somebody out there. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. You can check out some of the links in the description to my video courses if you want to support what we're doing over here. If you enjoy this Gear Talk series, I've got an entire playlist of these videos which you can check out down below as well. My name is Retschall. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.